Once upon a time, nestled deep within a thick forest, there lived a creature, so terrifying and malevolent that its very presence struck fear into the hearts of all who dared to venture near. This creature, known as the Cockatrix, was an unholy amalgamation of grotesque features from various animals, with a head adorned with the fierce, pointed beak of a rooster, adorned in fiery red and eyes that glowed with a malevolent gleam. The Cockatrix possessed a gaze that could paralyze even the bravest of souls. Its body, resembling that of a bloated, warty toad, oozed with a foul, toxic substance capable of corroding everything it touched. Delicate, leathery wings extended from its sides like those of a bat, enabling the Cockatrix to move in unsettling, unhurried flights that would haunt the dreams of all who witnessed them. But perhaps the most eerie feature was its tail, long and sinewy like that of a snake, crafted with deadly precision to strike its victims with lightning speed. The Cockatrix prowled the depths of the forest, its hideous visage concealed in shadows, waiting patiently for unsuspecting prey to fall into its clutches. Its favorite haunts were the forgotten burrows or neglected wells, where it would make its lair. Merging with the darkness, its hideous presence masked by the depths. Despite its seemingly weak appearance, the Cockatrix possessed a voracious appetite for chaos and suffering. Villagers who stumbled upon its territory would soon find their lives torn asunder, their once peaceful homes reduced to desolate landscapes of ruin and despair. Entire communities trembled at the very mention of its name, too terrified to even whisper about the horrors they had witnessed. Legends spoke of brave heroes who had dared to challenge the wicked cockatrix, but their tales always ended in sorrow and tragedy, their fates forever entwined with the dangerous beast. The cockatrix remained an enigma, its origin shrouded in mystery leaving only the dread-filled silence as a testament to its dark existence. Within the forest, the cockatrix's presence still loomed, a sinister force that continued to strike fear into the hearts of all who heard its tale. And as night fell, enveloping the land in a blanket of darkness, the restless spirits of those who had fallen victim to the cockatrix whispered tales of caution warning all who would listen to beware the dread-filled depths of the forest and the abomination that resided within. As the moon hung heavy in the black sky, casting an airy glow through the twisted branches, a lone traveler ventured deep into the heart of the cursed forest. Ignorant of the perils that awaited him, the traveler's footsteps echoed ominously, resounding through the silent landscape like a morbid symphony. The fear grew thick with an unsettling stillness as he pressed forward, his heart quickening with each ghastly silhouette that seemed to dance in the corner of his eye. Whispers, barely audible yet suffused with undeniable malevolence. Whispered secrets and warnings carried on the wind. Unbeknownst to the traveler, the cockatrix had chosen this night to emerge from its hidden sanctuary. Drawn by the scent of fresh prey, it slithered through the undergrowth, its grotesque form navigating the darkness with a sinister grace. Unfathomable red eyes glowed in the distance, fixated on the unwary wanderer who had unwittingly stumbled upon its domain. A shiver ran down the traveler's spine as a frigid breeze abruptly swept through the trees, the very breath of the tainted forest whispering tales of lost souls and forgotten horrors. Shadows seemed to elongate and contort, closing in around him, their skeletal fingers brushing against his skin in a chilling embrace. The cockatrix, an embodiment of nightmarish terror, prepared to strike. Its talon-like claws scraped against the mossy ground, producing a hair-raising sound akin to a funeral dirge. A cacophony of night creatures fell silent. Sensing the dark presence that now encroached upon their territory, as the traveler faltered, his senses heightened, detecting a malevolent energy suffusing there. Panic welled within him, urging him to flee, yet a morbid curiosity held him captive. 
his gaze fixated on the very abyss that threatened to consume his soul. Suddenly, an otherworldly screech shattered the silence. The cockatrix had revealed itself, unfurling its monstrous wings in a macabre display of power. A foul stench, a nauseating combination of decay and malevolence, permeated the air, causing the hapless traveler to gag and stumble backward. Heart pounding in his chest, the traveler realized the direness of his situation. He had unwittingly entered a realm where nightmares roamed free, where the line between reality and insanity blurred into oblivion. The cockatrix, a manifestation of pure evil, bore down upon him, every movement reverberating with a primal hunger for blood. The traveler's heart raced frantically within his chest as every pulse echoing like a death knell amidst the suffocating stillness. Time seemed to distort, elongating each agonizing moment as the cockatrix closed in, its beady eyes locked upon their prey. An ominous gust of wind stirred the gnarled branches overhead, casting fleeting shadows that danced in a macabre waltz across the forest floor. Whispers, a chorus of despair, resonated through the air carrying tales of those who had crossed paths with the cockatrix and paid the ultimate price. With a sudden burst of movement, the cockatrix lunged forward, its forked tongue slicing through fair like a venomous whip. The traveler, possessed by an instinctual surge of survival, dodged just in time, every nerve electrified with raw terror. But the cockatrix was relentless. It twisted and writhed, its grotesque form a grotesque ballet of menace and malevolence. Its whip-like tail lashed out, swift as lightning, threatening to ensnare its victim in its suffocating embrace. Desperation coursed through the traveler's veins as he narrowly dodged the deadly strike, his mind racing for a means of escape. Darting through the dense foliage, the traveler raced through the labyrinthine forest each breath burning in his chest. The twisted trees seemed to leer at him, their skeletal branches scraping against his skin in a cold embrace. Darkness, an impenetrable shroud, enveloped him, disorienting his senses and sending him spiraling deeper into the heart of the unknown. As he stumbled upon a forgotten well, moss-covered and foreboding, a flicker of hope ignited within the traveler's battered soul. With renewed vigor, he clung to the crumbling ledge, his gaze searching for salvation within the depths. The cockatrix, sensing its prey's imminent escape, screeched in defiance, the piercing sound rattling through the traveler-like shards of broken glass. Summoning every ounce of strength, the traveler lowered himself into the waiting abyss, the stale air filling his lungs like a bittersweet promise. The descent was treacherous, the walls of the well closing in around him, whispering secrets of the torment that awaited those who dared face the cockatrix. The traveler's hands trembled, his grip on the weathered stones waning as he descended deeper into the void. The air grew heavier, thick with an oppressive silence that pierced the traveler's eardrums like a thousand mournful cries. The walls of the well seemed to morph, contorting into misshapen figures that taunted him with outstretched claws. Shadows danced on the edges of his vision, teasing his sanity, whispering dreadful secrets that threatened to shatter his fragile resolve. Finally, the traveler's feet touched solid ground. A damp earthen floor greeted him, mist curling around his ankles like ghostly fingers. The fury glow of his trembling lantern cast unsettling shadows that flickered across the chamber's walls, revealing signs of ancient occupation. Cutting noises echoed from the depths, resonating through the stale air of the chamber. The cockatrix had sensed its prey's descent and scoured the labyrinthine tunnel of its lair, determined to reclaim what was rightfully its. Heart pounding, the traveler pressed forward, the light of his lantern casting a feeble path through the murky darkness. Cobwebs clung to his face, their silky threads a chilling reminder of the fate that awaited those entangled. In the cockatrix's web of terror, as he ventured deeper into the labyrinth, 
the traveler's every step resonated with the dread of the forsaken souls who had tread these very passageways before him. The walls seemed to tighten, their malevolence weighing upon him like an oppressive aura of doom. Then, a glimmer of hope pierced the stifling darkness. A faint, rusted ladder emerged from the depths, beckoning the traveler to ascend into the realm of the living. With a renewed surge of desperation, he climbed his hands gripping the rungs with blistering intensity. But just as his trembling fingers reached the precipice, a sickening crack echoed through the chamber. The ladder gave way, snapping under the strain of his grasp. Desperation flooded the traveler's eyes as he plummeted, surrounded by a suffocating blackness that swallowed him whole. In the depths, where light dared not reach, the cockatrix slithered forth. Its toxic hiss echoing like a symphony of despair. The traveler's fate remained veiled in the obscurity of that Stygian chamber. A story forever locked within the twisted embrace of the cockatrix's lair. The darkness enveloped the traveler, swallowing him whole as the grip of the cockatrix tightened. The monster's triumphant screech pierced the depths of the forgotten well. A haunting melody of death that echoed through the vacant corridors. Within the chamber, the traveler's desperate cries for salvation were met with haunting echoes. Each voice a tortured soul trapped in an eternal dance with the cockatrix's malevolence. His futile struggle against an unyielding darkness only served to intensify the monster's sadistic delight. The cockatrix, a creature of nightmares, reveled in its victory. Its piercing gaze fixated upon the broken form of the traveler. Now a mere puppet in its twisted grasp. From its hideous maw, the toxic cloud emerged, swirling with a vile concoction of venom and malice. The fumes embraced the traveler, corroding his very essence. Pain and terror consumed the traveler, as the cockatrix siphoned the life force from his fragile body. Each agonized gasp became music to the monster's ears, fueling its insatiable hunger for suffering. With every passing moment, the traveler drew closer to the precipice of oblivion, lost forever in the depths of the cockatrix's consuming darkness. And so, the tale of the cockatrix's malevolence reached its horrifying climax, forever etched within the annals of the cursed forest. The abandoned well became a morbid monument, a chilling reminder of the monstrous being that lurked within hungering for souls lost to its dominion. But beware, brave souls who dare to venture near the forest's edge. For the cockatrix still slumbers, its hunger never satiated. Should you stumble upon the forgotten well or catch a glimpse of its sinister shadow, heed the warnings that linger within the whispers of terrified villagers. For the cockatrix, with its head of a rooster, body of a toad, wings of a bat, and tail of a snake, remains a testament to the horrors that lurk in the darkest corners of our imagination. Pray that you may never cross its path, lest you to become a chilling tale whispered among the haunted depths of our collective nightmares.